After everything we know, after searching through so many videos, what is the worst, most hated thing in Red Dead Redemption 2? The feature that didn't make it in that sends shivers down my spine, and that is... <laughs> How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. If you guys don't know what Red Dead Redemption 2 is, then you really have been living under a rock. It's the prequel to the critically acclaimed Rockstar development predecessor of the same title. Instead of, you know, good old John Marston taking on his former partners and members of the notorious Vanderlyn gang to clear his name, you now ride with that very same gang pulling off some of the most famous heists from the lore that we have, you know, really only heard about um, in previous games and, and, and mentioning or, you know, the story based off certain missions. You play through the eyes uh, of Arthur Morgan in this game, but you knew that all, didn't you? You you, you knew that. I mean, you you know what you do. You know what Red Dead Redemption Two is, right? Don't don't scare me like that, man. You scare me. Okay, so it, it, so since you know about this game, you will also notice all the hype and craziness surrounding it. So many YouTubers, media outlets, and well, generally everybody has been taking talking non-stop not not take take it. i wish they could take the game oh wow uh, there's been certain youtubers who've been saying they got the game early and they're lying but anyway excuse me talking non-stop about how beautiful it is how almost next gen it is the extreme attention to detail how awesome the lighting is how big the world is how customizable the character is and how immersive it is really the list could and should go on you will hear all of this and well they are right but Sean what the crap is your title about then well you see that's the thing we won't really know any real flaws until after release there are no big glaring ones uh, it, it took a long time really to find something to bitch about uh, unlike Jurassic World Evolution where there was an obvious you know limited sandbox and copied animation very evident before launch so I, I'm going to, you know, I, I'm not really going to hammer it home because it's not a deal breaker. And the fact that there is so much going into this game that this small downside is vastly outweighed by all the awesomeness surrounding, you know, surrounding it not being there. Rockstar more than makes up for this small downside and it may just largely be opinion based. But before we get into what it is, if you guys agree with me or think that I bring up uh, any, you know, good point when we, you know, get into that particular downside or any at, at any time at all in the video, really, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't agree with me, smack the like button. You know, if you guys agree with me or if you guys think that I bring up a good point, even if you don't agree with me, smack that like button and and hear me out. You know, watch the full video and then like only if you think I'm right, you know, if you don't agree with, you know, I guess anything else that I have to say. So before we start, go ahead and pause the video and drop down below in the comment section and tell me what you think the biggest downside is. And if I cover um, that in the video and you agree with me, well, let me know and smack a like for that. Furthermore, if you comment and guess correctly uh, without looking ahead or reading anybody else's comment, we both have the same and we both have the same big you know huge gripe about this game we both hate this one particular asset that's not in the game or feature well if we both guess right i'll give you a shout out i'll give you a shout out uh, uh, um you know in a in, in the caliber of my choosing obviously um but be honest don't cheat if we agree about the same thing i will give you a shout out it should be pretty hard you know but of course there's gonna be plenty of people who look at the comments and skip ahead eventually but you know what i'm saying like we'll be able to tell those honest views especially in the first i guess what, 24 hours or so okay so all right we spent way too much time on that so what is the biggest problem with red dead redemption 2 uh many of you would say that it's the lack of campaign co-op when uh, you know when game has an online feature, but you can't play the story, you know with friends right now I will say that many older 
games have this concept featured, but the loose story-based heist missions from GTA not being very well Im implemented and the death of the old Red Dead Online is really has been, you know, Rockstar, it really hasn't been Rockstar's signature or specialty, you know, having a story-driven co-op online mode or feature in a mode. So while that's not their specialty and, you know, they know what they are good at, while this is a small bummer, it makes sense not to cheapen or try any new unknowns when you have so many new unknowns in a game already. Also, as of right now, the, you know, for the beta, there is no co-op mode that is mission oriented but in the free roam mode you can form a posse group um, party or gang with friends and do such things as raid bandits hideout go hunting um right excuse me raid bandits and hideouts or go hunting and you know more just like the single player but there's no campaign you see what i'm saying there's no actual like story cutscenes, um, which are all actual playable cutscenes. but there's no there's none of those those won't be triggered um but everything else, you can do exactly the same. So you can technically roleplay, make your own story, you know, blah, blah, blah. But that feature is just, just out. The campaign has been rumored uh, to, be, um, to be released July uh, for, you know, Xbox Live, PSN. But at this time, you know, it's, it's going to be free. The DLC called Outlaws to the end will feature four missions that tie in with the story mode campaign and can be played for up to three uh, of your friends it has been, you know, said whether it involves offline multiplayer or online only yet um, from, you know, rumors of what I've gathered. So this really isn't a problem or an issue. So, you know, I, it is what it is. Maybe it's the microtransactionist feature that they're implementing. So many were, were mad, still mad. You have you, you have to you have to see that while Rockstar has created a badass behemoth of a game that will provide hundreds of hours of fun and you know exploration. It's still Rockstar, and as long as they learn from their mistakes and make it more polished and non-game breaking, which is why I think they are starting you know online as a beta it's very smart when it's a huge you know then then it isn't a huge deal at that point right you if you have some extra cash uh, you can have a few extra perks or cosmetics plus you know give you something to look forward to down the road you can play the story online with a friend anyway so it's not like other players will have an advantage over you as far as online goes it's you know in a beta so it will have to a time to tweak things and get it right so you won't be able to uh, you know have access to a gun via microtransaction that puts everyone else to shame because they won't be more powerful than you know other guns that you can acquire in game without having those microtransactions because you know they're going for realism so you know if you're playing story mode by yourself having a few extra mic microtransaction you know having some extra cash and stuff like that only helps you out so much really because you're not really playing against other players and when it comes to online mode um you know you have a couple friends with you and no gun that the opponent would have or paid for is going to be so much more powerful than um some of the really good game guns that you could get find um, or play through the game a little bit to acquire you'll always have a chance right and you know getting back to the realism there, there won't be you know any pink semi-automatic pistols with armor piercing bullets that could take down anything with ease you know what i mean there's there just won't be any um and that is a good thing and, and play to win is extremely diminished with that it's it's pay to make single player easier i would say it would be a total pay to win if you couldn't get a gun that powerful at all while someone who shelled out 50 bucks blows the map away. It may take a couple extra hours, but you can have a gun just as powerful. Maybe not as ornate, um, maybe you know just a slight degree um, less powerful, um, but you would still have an equal chance at survival online. It is a downside, but it's not a deal breaker and has the potential to add much to the game over time for cheap. Also, again, it's Rockstar. You really can't be mad, only expectant. You know, it, it comes with a deal. You should have seen it coming. It's Rockstar, right? So, so anyway, you know, is it the fact that some got an exclusive treasure map for pre-ordering before August 20th something? Uh, nope nothing wrong with rewarding loyal early buyers before the hype right plus you know once the game drops all locations will be easily searched <clears throat> ever heard of youtube 
yeah, that's that's you know that treasure map is no big deal. Everybody will have that by the game, even if you don't have it. Is it the fact that they have constantly kept pushing the release back further and further? Nope, it's it's due finally in about a month, and I I encourage developers to push back, you know, especially if it means that they are that the game's gonna be more polished and not rushed. <clears throat> Jurassic World Evolution. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> a little something catching my throat there. There is one huge glaring issue with Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, this is largely opinion based and really it's the only real flaw that I can see so far. After everything we know, after searching through so many videos, what is the worst, most hated thing in Red Dead Redemption 2? The feature that didn't make it in that sends shivers down my spine, and that is being that this huge open world game has so much into it, everything is interactive, the immersion is never broken, the customization is endless within realistic reasoning, the atmosphere and story will be rich and pleasing. But here's the thing, the smoking gun if you will. You can't own a feckin' dog, man. That's right, you heard it. No dogs. Like There are, are dogs in the game and you can pet and interact with them, um, hell you can probably even kill them, but you can't own one. This comes as a shocking revelation as so many open world RPGs have ownable dogs and pets. Fallout New Vegas and, and 4 had it, and so did Skyrim, but those are Bethesda owned and made games, Sean. You can't hold Rockstar to their standard, right? Well, their previous GTA had this same feature. In a limited fashion, you could own, play with, teach commands, and uh, play as Franklin's Chop. Everything else has received a logical progression and upgrade, but why take this feature away and not treat it the same? Shopping got an upgrade, but not a, a, you know abandoned and starving old yeller to rescue? Uh, and grow a bond with and having follow me around you know um, running alongside my horse because um, dogs can get up to I think what the fastest dog is recorded being uh, just a tad bit slower than an average horse um, at top speed so who's to say you for realistic reason you couldn't have a dog you know follow trailing behind you a little bit and uh, you just have to ride slightly a bit slower you know because of that um, and that'd be a, um, what you would have to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? That you have to sacrifice a little bit of speed to make sure your dog can stay with you. It'd be an optional thing. Why couldn't that be in there? Um, I'm still holding out hope that this you know, that this will be a, a microtransaction or a DLC, or, or maybe you could just have a localized pet that stays at your base camp and can only be seen there. I don't I don't know uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm just uh, you know I'm I'm just so tore up about this not being in game. Okay, I'm like super PO'd. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys, but seriously, there there is so much that is going on in this game. It is odd that they did leave out this tiny thing that would be, you know, easy enough to implement. It, it was hard to find anything real to gripe about, but I strongly feel that the, the little feature like this may be on hold for later updates, add-ons, transaction DLCs or lumped uh, in with the remastered or special edition release version coming up in a couple years after launch, like most Rockstar games. So, all right. I'm curious to see what the comment section looks like now, you know what I mean? Uh, I wonder if any of you guys picked what I did. And okay, so this isn't a troll, guys. Like it's, it, Really, it's just my opinion that a small detail like this is annoyingly left out when it seems like a given. But again, just my opinion, and even and even if ownable pets never made it into the game, um, or and ever, you know, it's it's really not a deal breaker at all, and won't affect the gameplay or how much I like the game as is. It does go a bit against Rockstar's immersion talking points and detracts a bit from you know what, because after all, immersion does best when tiny details are done right. You know what I'm saying, but. This game is so epic that this point that is just isn't a big deal. It just it, it took forever just to find something that wasn't in the game confirmed. That's it, you know that seemed odd that should be, um, and it was just this little bitty tiny thing. And it's such a small thing, but it's like man, why why wouldn't it be in there? It's got to be safe for later date. It just seems so obvious. It seems so. It seems just stupid to, to bitch about, but this game is so so expansive. 
and that's not a thing like out of all stuff that could that that didn't have to be in the game they choose and left left that out <laughs> so exactly it's not a big deal at all it, who cares right that's how awesome this game is um that even something like that you know it, it wouldn't ever be a big deal anyways it really is the only thing you could have fine to bitch about besides like a microtransaction you know what i mean so anyway damn i'm super hyped for this game so i just hyped myself up trying to do this video for you guys get you guys hyped up so anyways subscribe if you're new um you know like comment subscribe all that cool stuff you know all the algorithmic cool cool things um i'm in the comment section below after every single video i appreciate you guys like always and i'll see you in the next video